Uh, yeah, just coordinating uh, several uh, organizations may not be easy, but as a facilitator, uh, the facilitator need to uh, set a clear communication communication channel with the organizations. Uh, need to identify and the expertise of the different organizations just to bring around uh, the specific project. En aspectos de comunicación entre todos los actores, yo creo que el ITD genera genera ese balance, sobre todo no entre los que venimos quizás del ámbito más de desarrollo humanitario del sector público con el con el sector privado. One of the challenging things that we have in this partnership is getting a common level of understanding, as we have different exper expertise and experiences. So as a facilitator, I would I would say that the, the, the institution has to find a middle point in bringing or play a facilitation role in bringing all the perspectives into a fixed table or a middle point so that we proceed in solving the, 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 the remaining challenges. Different types of analysis, surveys and assessments are being conducted. So uh, the, these uh, assessments and this, the documents or data need to be a com compiled and a kind of data need to be uh, kind of that I need to be formed so then later uh, anyone uh, can refer and all uh, kind of uh, good things or good lessons can be published which, which can be uh, shared to the international community, to donors and the like just to promote the project or other similar projects. Y yo creo que el ITD es el que está eh, metiendo estas píldoras, ¿no? que, le, que le llamáis estas píldoras ODS, en todos los actores, intentando pues eso, eh, facilitar eh, que los procesos desde el ámbito público no se alarguen, eh, no se alarguen tanto y que también el, el sector privado adquiera esa sensibilidad ¿no? a la hora de intervenir en el ámbito humanitario de desarrollo.